If your boobs look like bums, you're wearing the wrong bra size. I repeat myself. Look at your boobs right now, girls. If your boobs look like bums, something is wrong, okay? This is what it looks like. I purchased so many items. It's a bit snacks. I do not recommend it at all, except for the way I did it. They have these super long tags, um, literally an entire exam paper. The stitch work is not impeccable. The overlocking is poor, and I feel like this is not worth the money at all. I do not recommend this bra for anyone. My people die because of lack of knowledge. To know is so important. Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. My name is Namlina and I finally have the Savage X Fenty review for you guys. I've actually had these items for quite some time and I've been wearing two of them just so I can give you guys a really nice and detailed review. So at the beginning of this review, I will talk about shipping and what I did um, ordering from South Africa. So all of you South African um, based ladies can get all those details and then towards the end of the video I'll actually show you guys all the different items that I purchased. This is not sponsored. I purchased everything with my own money and I'm really really excited to maybe consider starting a bra review series on my channel where we can purchase bras from different companies and see how they look, how they fit and also talk about the shipping and customs experience. So without further ado guys, let's get started. So I actually placed two orders, okay. My first order was straight from the Savage X Fenty website to South Africa. They do deliver to South Africa, which is really, really exciting. So you can literally make payment on their website and have your item delivered to South Africa. I ordered on the 25th of February and it was delivered on the 8th of March. It took 11 days for delivery. So really, really fast. Shipping was 652 Rand. I actually only purchased two items. So these two items in total cost me 1,345.90. Uh, please do remember that the cost of items will change according to the exchange rate. So this is how my item came. This is the delivery straight from Savage X Fenty to South Africa. And I only ordered two items and they came in this little mailer bag. And like I said, they cost 1,345.90 customs. For just two items mind you i spent 652 rand on shipping customs was 1089.95 okay so over a thousand rand just for customs for these two items okay so the total spent which is my cost for the two items and my customs plus my shipping of 652 just for two bras i paid 3086 0.9 which essentially means that i paid 1543.45 it was if i was to divide that by two items for each bra okay so this is my first order straight to south africa and at the time when i placed my order south africans were not allowed to join the vip program you could not become a vip as an international buyer you needed to be based in the u.s so i had to purchase everything at the full price that you guys see on the website now I couldn't do that okay I really fell in love with my first bra it's a black bra I got a 36 G cup and I really really loved the bra but I felt like the cup was a little bit small and I needed a H cup okay so in the try and hold part I'll show you guys the comparison between the G cup that I got with my first order and then I placed the second order and the second order where I got an H cup of the exact same bra and you guys can really see the fit difference if your boobs look like bums you're wearing the wrong bra size I repeat myself look at your boobs right now girls if your boobs look like bums something is wrong okay something is very wrong okay and in the g cup my boobs kind of look like bums and in the h cup you can see that there's a parting which is very very important that's when you know you're on the right path to wearing the right bra size so after that i decided girl i want another bra i really really love this one bra the second bra i didn't like it i'll show it to you guys in the try and haul part but i really loved this first bra that i purchased i want another bra how can i purchase from savage x fenty at a more affordable price and this is where shipito comes in or ship it to i know i promised you guys the ship it to um review or rather like a tutorial kind of thingy um it will come in due time i just 
cannot do it right now i have a lot of stuff to do it's just not a priority right now but you guys can go into the website talk to customer service it's really great so now i had a usa address using shipito or ship it to i call it shipito and i use my california address from them shipito or ship it to is like rmx global shopper you get different addresses all over the world it's like your own personal like a storage warehouse a little storage block and you can order items that do not deliver to south africa or that deliver to south africa and you just want to save on shipping and customs you can order them to that address at that company and then consolidate your items so bring all your different orders from different companies from pretty little thing from all these different international companies and put them into one package and choose your own delivery company so sometimes like with savage x venti they use a particular um, shipping company so when you're using shipito you'll have tons of different options you can use tnt um, fedex um, you you can use dhl you can use dpex there are tons of options and you can see which one works best for you which one is the most affordable so it's really really great if you're shopping internationally highly recommended i don't like rmx global shopper i always tell everyone just to use ship it too so for my second order this is what it looks like i purchased so many items this is using shipito directly um, shipping to my california address so i placed my second order on the 6th of june and it was delivered on the 15th of june so this was around nine days whereas the one to south africa took um, 11 days i'm just looking down at my notes and i actually decided to join the savage x fenty vip membership if you guys google the savage x fenty vip membership you guys will see that it's a bit it's a bit snacks i do not recommend it at all except for the way i did it i recommend the way that i did it but i do not recommend the membership thing i don't understand why they have the membership thing i understand from a business perspective they make money from it but i just feel like it's completely unnecessary and if you guys look into it you guys will find a lot of interesting information about people who feel like they've been scammed just a ton of snacks stuff so if you want to find out about that stuff just google savage x fenty vip membership but personally i don't recommend it and the major reason why i don't re recommend it is that no woman absolutely no woman on this earth needs new bras every single month you do not need new bras every single month you just don't you know so for me it's just perpetuating this idea um, and this culture of overconsumption and just consuming and consuming for no reason like for fun for fashion and for me i i'm not for that i feel like it's just completely unnecessary but i did join the vip membership and i want to tell you guys how i did it okay so because i was using my california address and i actually made payment with my paypal account i was able to join the vip membership okay so i placed my order on the 6th of june was delivered on the 15th of june now for this order i spent 440.40 dollars which is 6606 on the items okay i purchased 12 items for my second order okay but because i became a vip member i got 50 percent off plus i got two bras for 29 dollars, which means you get two bras for 435 rand now if you're an a cup b cup c cup d cup this is a lot of money but if you're a g cup like myself an h cup our bras in south africa from the bra boutiques from places where they actually offer proper support and coverage where your boobs don't look like bums those bras are over a thousand rand on average for one bra okay if you are higher up in the alphabet community you know what i'm talking about it is expensive to have these titties okay and i know they said my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard but this milkshake brings the bills to the yard okay it costs a lot of money to be tiddling like this okay so if you really want proper supportive high quality bras you're going to pay some rents okay and not rhinos or elephants like us the people higher up in the alphabet community for bras um we we pay with leopards okay at least five leopards and up 200 rand notes baby we spend a lot of money on our boobs okay so for me this was like an amazing deal i get two bras for 435 rand or two bras for 29 dollars depending on the exchange rate if a bra is cheap for somebody who's a g cup that's when it's like 700 rand like black friday but a bra that's a thousand 1.2 1.3 that is normal okay and a bra is more expensive when it's like 1.9 or 2000 rand like i said 
we pay in leopards we don't use rhinos or elephants we pay in leopards okay so this is a really great deal so i spent 440.40 dollars which is 6606 for 12 items on savage x fenty but because i got 50 percent off plus two bras for 435 rand for 50 percent off i saved 1056.3 or 70 dollars 0.42 for our american viewers and then because of the two for 29 um, dollars deal that they have for new vip members new vip members new vip members people who are brand new to the vip membership which would be me um, then i saved 2754 rand off of my entire order the order is mixed in with um bras and other items you guys will see it in the try and haul portion so that is 183.60 dollars okay and shipping was absolutely free to my california address using shipito okay so my total for my entire order of 12 items was 204.11 dollars which is 3061.65 mind you when i ordered straight to south africa and i only ordered two bras my total spent was 3086.9 for two bras because i was shipping it from savage x fenty i paid customs of 1089.95 i paid shipping of 652 and the two bras cost me 1345.90 where else as a new vip member i got two bras for 29 dollars, which means two bras for 435 rand so from south africa um from savage x fenty to south africa i spent a total of 3086.9 but from savage x fenty to my california address using shipito my total spent for 12 items was 3061.65 i literally spent less money to get more items i got 12 items for 3061.65 because i used shipito and when i ordered from savage x fenty straight to south africa i got two items for 3085.6 to know is so important when you don't know You'll spend a lot of money for little whereas i spent less when i shipped using shipito and i got 12 items for 3061.65 and when i shipped directly from savage x fenty to south africa i only got two items for 3086.9 i spent more money to get less okay so when i shipped directly to south africa each item cost me 1543.45 i divided my total by the amount of items i got which was two items and when i shipped from savage x fenty to my shipito warehouse in california each item cost me 255.14 that is a crazy crazy difference and that is why it is important to know watch as many tutorials and reviews you guys can find for the products that you're interested in you never know when there could be a great deal so how did this all happen it's because i got the savage x fenty vip membership i got it on the 6th of june they delivered on the 15th of june once it said delivered into my shipito warehouse ship it to warehouse in california i cancelled my membership so my membership was Liganda. it was zero i paid zero rent for a membership and i got all these discounts and then i cancelled it after that and i never had to worry about it again they never charged me again and i'm very happy but i do not recommend the membership at all unless you're going to use it the way that i did i do not recommend the membership at all i repeat myself i do not recommend the membership at all um I'm currently in south africa i think this might be literally the only savage x fenty review and it costs a lot of money guys to create content that's not sponsored a lot of my content is not sponsored and you guys can see i spent um three thousand for the first order and the second order i spent another three thousand so that's like six thousand rand on one video not including my shipping from california my shipito address to south africa which is much more affordable than shipping directly from savage x fenty so even if you don't get the vip membership the girls who are tiddling this is absolutely worth it okay talking about absolutely worth it let's look at the items i got not all the bras i recommend okay and so please pay attention as we go through them let's start with my order from savage x fenty straight to south africa this is what it looks like even though i became a vip member for my first order my first order did not come in a box so i don't know what you have to do to get a box but i didn't get a box i just got a sleeve for both of my orders so for my first order 
i got um a black savage x fenty bra i've been wearing it that's why i'm not going to show it in detail on camera but i will show it to you guys um later on let's start with this one this is the bralette so this is the packaging that your item comes in this is a black bralette on the side i will try and add a try on clip for you guys just a quick like five second try on try on clip this is the bralette the support on this is not good at all i do not recommend this bra for anyone who's tiddling like i am the girls with the titties i do not recommend this bra at all um, and you guys will see the savage x fenty bras have these tags that i absolutely hate i despise these tags they irritate me so much they have these super long tags um literally an entire exam paper attached to your bra and then they also have this little tag here that says savage x fenty now these little tags are supposed to be removed all they've done is they've tacked them on anyone who's new i'm a qualified fashion designer they've just tacked them on they haven't actually stitched them fully on okay so you're supposed to just cut them off um, and the best thing to use would be a seam reaper um, but you would just literally just cut it off now my issue is this is a 1x and of course i am an extra large size 38 but because i got the titties that be tiddling I got a 1x okay and um i thought it would have support because i was just like you know let me be helpful but anyway i thought i would be hopeful and yeah i am over bralettes i'm tired of it the only bralettes that i feel like i could try and purchase more from them is the skims one that's the only ones but so far all of these companies that i've purchased from rubbish the bralettes are for people who have like a cups or something so this tag you're supposed to remove it and the issue for me is that once you remove it you don't know what size this bra is unless you go back into your order because it's not embossed anywhere it's not printed anywhere on the bra so once you remove the script this exam paper then you don't know what bra size your um, bra is which is really irritating when you want to refer back like i did and purchase um, a better fitting size so do not recommend this my boobs be tiddling they're spilling on the side do not recommend this i will be giving this to one of my many sisters because i cannot wear that now this bra is my favorite i want at least four of these bras okay um and this is what it looks like uh, if it looks worn is because i've been wearing this since my first order okay this is a savage x fenty bra they have that little gold charm here this is the one you guys have been seeing in all my videos i'm like i'm wearing a savage x fenty bra i was talking about this one because the rest of the bras i haven't like worn 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 i've been wearing this since the beginning of the year since my first order okay so this is what it looks like it's like mesh detail has fenty written all around um really really cute now there are good things and bad things about this bra this bra like i said i've been wearing it so the tag has fallen off um so now i only know what size this one is because from my second order i bought a size up because this spills a little bit and i'll put some comparison clips for you guys to see the straps on this bra the attention to detail is exquisite from savage x fenty really really well done um but the straps are nice and thick and they're heavy duty but while there's a good thing about the strap there's a bad thing about the strap the adjustable part of this particular bra is at the back so you can't put it on and feel like okay let me adjust it and make it tighter you cannot do that you have to take it all off adjust it put it back on i absolutely hate that i feel like adjustable straps should be here in the front so that you can adjust it if you guys check like your woolworths um your ackermans your mr price bras you will see that they are mostly adjustable here in the front so that you can stand in the mirror and adjust the bra so that the strap length is perfect for your body unfortunately for this one the strap is adjustable at the back and i absolutely hate that but the attention to detail is exquisite this band i've compared it with one of my other bras i think a woolworths bra and it's literally the strap is thicker than your standard straps really really nice guys this is a perfect everyday bra for anyone who's got titties that be tiddling like i do you're going to love this this is absolutely amazing okay so i purchased that bra again 
in an H cup for my second Savage X Fenty order. So on this side, I will have um, the G cup, which is my first order straight to South Africa. On this side, I will have the H cup, which is my second order um, from Savage X Fenty straight to California, to my California address using Shipito. You guys will really see there is quite a difference. So for your bras, guys, a lot of you guys are wearing the wrong bra size. I'm not even sure of my bra size. If we continue with this series, maybe we can go to a bra fitter together and just get some advice and get measured and get professionally sized for our bras. I think that would be exciting for us to do here on my YouTube channel. But your bras need to have a party. They cannot look like bums. If your boobs look like bums, something is wrong okay um the band needs to fit well you shouldn't have boobs um spinning out here on the side um and you shouldn't have like a quad boob is it a quad like when you have four boobs you shouldn't have that and with my g cup when i'm walking around you know doing my errands living my best life i do get that quad boob where i have like four boobs and you have like a line and your boob is like spilling out whereas with the h cup it fits perfectly i really really love the h cup so my first order was the g cup earlier in the year and then in june i purchased the h cup once i'd worn the g cup and felt like you know what i got a little bit more okay i need a little bit more support okay now for my second order this is from california this is going to be a lot of stuff let's start off with the leggings so for my second order um to california this is what the pamphlet looks like extra vip um, savage x fenty and they just have some of that information i believe my first order did not come with this i cannot say for sure um, because i've had this order for quite some time so they just have all that information here so the first item leggings from savage x fenty I don't feel like it's anything special really i really do not feel like this is anything special please do remember i got things at a discount because it was my first time like a first time vip member so i got things at a discount so the prices you guys see on screen will be the price you will pay like normal on the website but remember that i got things at a big big discount okay so this is what they look like and i don't think this is worth the money at all first of all as a fashion designer when you get to a specific price point when you get into the luxury realm when you get into um, items that are a little bit more expensive this should not be happening you know you calculate how much elastic you're going to need you resize your font so that throughout the entire waistband it says savage x fenty flawlessly flawlessly the stitch work is not impeccable the overlocking is poor and i feel like this is not worth the money at all i do not recommend this the waist is a little bit too big for me but yeah for some people it might be perfect for you but for me the waist was just not snatched enough i would need to like literally stitch it in and just you know resize that waist um, but otherwise it's standard it's not great it definitely does not justify the price this is lazy work you know as a fashion designer this is not acceptable um, for their price range absolutely not acceptable the print work it's okay it's okay i don't <sighs> I don't know i just feel like this is not worth it at all okay next up i got the gown so i'm editing this and i just noticed that they sent me the wrong robe i ordered the monogram one in the size extra large and you guys will see in the try and haul clip they sent me something completely different so i'm really really disappointed i only noticed it now in october and i ordered in june so i literally just sent them an email now i don't know if they will do anything or if they can do anything because i noticed it so late but luckily the tags and everything are still attached so we'll just see what they say but just ignore everything i say savage x fenty actually sent the wrong item to me and this is what i hate about international shopping hmm. the story around this gown is that I thought since I am curvy, like most gowns do not cover like my hips. So if I'm an extra large 38, then I need to go for a 2 or a 3X just so that it actually wraps around my whole body. So that's what I did. And this gown is far, far too big. So you guys can check out my Yaga store. I will have this gown on my Yaga store for sale for any of you guys who are interested in it. It is just, it is incredibly big. It does not even make any sense okay so i loved those first bras so much that i purchased them again in a blue and a lavender color oh guys 
quality ntwana this bra guys if you want to purchase anything from the savage x fenty and you got tits that be tilling like mine please purchase this bra okay so this is the same one as that black one just in a beautiful lavender shade um and it has is this gold or rose gold i don't know but it has metallic hardware why does that feel like a blonde moment whatever that is the lavender one and then i also purchased it in a beautiful blue color everything is individually packed so this is what the blue shade looks like absolutely beautiful with that savage x fenty print and text um it just says savage 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 really really nice and guys the quality of these bras i'm a lazy hun okay i do not like doing laundry and everything so i put these in my washing machine and they're in perfect condition i purchased another bra from like a very expensive bra place like bra specialists put in the machine the wire immediately popped out this this <laughs> It's like a hard body chicken this one <laughs> this one gives a gazette hardcore understand like this one <laughs> quality quality highly recommend this bra guys get it like get it get it now get it now okay you ship it to don't ship to south africa you will cry unless you know i'm safe but you will cry like uzo kala ntwana don't do that you ship it okay next up is this beautiful beautiful bra but the construction of this this bra is absolutely beautiful it has um this sticky stuff down here i forgot what the name is it has boning over here it is impeccable i wish so bad that it fits unfortunately savage x fenty does this thing where they advertise that they're so inclusive and blah 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 and you go onto the website and it's like only 60 percent of the stuff actually goes up to h cup h cup is their biggest cup on their website and most of the stuff actually ends with a double d or i think a triple d i'm not sure but h cup is not everything so this unfortunately was not available on the h cup this unlike those other bras i showed you actually has the size printed here because this is supposed to be removed it literally says you must remove this tag um so once you remove it at least for this bra you'll be able to see um what size you are so this um definitely would not fit me i purchased it just to show it to you guys and you guys can check out my yaga store if you're interested in purchasing this item next up we've got the curvy lace unlined bra um in the color caviar in the size 38 h like i told you guys this is my second order ordering from savage x fenty going to uh, my california address so i already knew that some of these bras i need to get an h cup this bra is absolutely beautiful really really beautiful well done and you really want to make sure that your boobs have space here in the middle they should not look like bums if your boobs look like bums you're wearing the wrong one if your boobs look like bums you're wearing the wrong one okay this is a really really beautiful bra and most of the bras on the savage x fenty website actually come in tons and tons of different um colorways as well next up is the t-shirt bra in the black caviar shade size 38 h okay so for some of these items i got a 38 some of them i got a 36 um just depending on how i'm feeling about the bra and for this one as well they have the size printed there which is very important because the tags are removed now normally i don't go for these type of bras i am not a fan of these type of bras i like my simple underwire mesh bras because i got a lot of titties okay i don't need any extra padding or anything of the sort i am not a fan of these bras but i was pleasantly surprised um the cup size fits actually really well and one thing about the savage x20 bras girls if you have rolls like i do you're going to love this this band is so thick like this could be somebody's boob tube that's how thick it is okay it is thick okay most bras are around this size that's how how big the band is savage x fenty definitely pays attention the wide band or the wings of the bra fantastic absolutely well done even here by the hooks extra length really 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 love that like it's quality guys it's really really good quality for me it's worth the money as a vip i'll put it that way like i i like it if i'm a vip but otherwise yo it's a lot of money which we're used to as people with big cubs but it's like when you know that there's a way to get it for cheaper 
why wouldn't you get it for cheaper? So I'm editing this and realizing Savage X Fenty literally made yet another mistake. Somebody was just making mistakes with my order. I ordered this bra on the left and they actually gave me two of these bras. So this bra I've already showed it to you guys. They gave me two of them, the exact same size, color, everything. And they didn't give me the Savage X cotton jersey unlined bra green lagoon, the one on the left. So I sent yet another email while I'm editing this and hopefully they'll be able to come to some conclusion. Next up, we have this bra over here. This lovely lady, this is the brown sugar strapless bra, nude size 38 double D. Unfortunately, this is one of those bras where my size was not available, but I had to purchase it just to show it to you guys. Look at this beauty. Oh, this absolutely does not fit. <laughs> You know, sometimes you read the reviews, they have reviews on their website and some people are like, yeah, it fits. You should definitely try it out. I tried it, girl. It does not work. It does. It just doesn't fit. So it is really, really well made. The straps are nice and thick. These straps do not have Savage X Fenty written on them. The wings are nice and wide. Um, they are reinforced. They have boning here. Can you guys see that? They have boning right over here. They have boning over here and then this is the side seam the construction of this is impeccable and it is strapless so they're strapless bras the ones that i purchased you can remove the straps yourself but they come with the straps um, as well so that if you do not want to wear it strapless you still have the option to wear it the normal way which i think is really great okay last but not least yo i think this video is going to be very long i bought another panty i've been wearing it then I have this panty as well. So I'm not going to show you guys the one that I've been wearing because I've been testing it out before I reviewed it. Everything is packaged really nicely with Savage X Fenty. So this is the last item um, that I purchased from them. I have not tried this on. But the first panty that I purchased, ne? Irrepili. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Irrepili. You know when you chew gum? On a hot day and you suck all that sugar out and you throw it in the bin and it starts to melt that's what that panty looks like right now so i personally am not interested in purchasing any more panties from savage x fenty because get rubbish dirty pela do not purchase those panties um it might be the material of that one i'll leave a picture of what it looks like here on the side this one is like a net with some lace. So I'll try this one out and see if it's any better. But that first one, like I'm not interested in Savage X Fenty panties, like Idoti Pella. Honestly, rubbish. I do not recommend them. Purchase the bras, ladies. But the panties, I forget it. And also, for any of you guys who are going to go onto the Savage X Fenty website, it's more lingerie than underwear. It's a lot, a lot of designs that don't make any sense. You know, it's lingerie. You wait for five minutes, you take it off. They have a lot of crotchless panties where there's like a hole at the bottom. There's no crotch. They have a lot of bras that like your entire nipple is out. And a lot of the designs for me just feel like, like I said, I studied fashion design. In our classes, we always had one or two students who just designed these things down off ramp. A lot of the designs of the Savage X Fenty website, for me personally, I like that. And maybe that's because I'm not interested necessarily in lingerie. I'm more interested in underwear, stuff that I can wear under my garments on a daily basis. I'm not really interested in like the sexy stuff, the crotchless panties. I'm not interested in that. Um, so a lot of the designs, hey, you want to get their off rim. But like this design just to make you sense where you're just like, why would you put those materials together? Why would you put those colors together? And the answer is simple. It's lingerie. They want you to wear it for five minutes, take it off and put it on the floor. They don't care if you're going to sweat in it. Um, I mean, they had this pleather set with mesh and pineapples and it's cute, but it's just like, kanjani, kanjani. Like, you know, um, so yeah, expect a lot of like very over sexualized stuff because it is more of a lingerie brand than underwear. They have a lot of crotchless stuff and a lot of nipples out and just stuff where you're just like, for me personally, if I was married, if I was interested in lingerie, like my boobs are not built that way, you know? So if it's a bra with just the underwire and like sticky nipple stuff, gravity 
is going to do her job better than the government she's going to show up and it's just not going to look like what's advertised so for me personally even if i was married if even if i was interested in lingerie i wouldn't purchase it from savage x fenty because it's not built for people with big boobs it's built for the itty bitty community the girls with the itty bitties but for the rest of us who be tiddling even the lingerie is just not built for us so guys thank you so much for watching i hope this video is not too long if you have any questions leave them down in the description box the ship it to video is coming but trust me go on to their website contact them talk to them they will help you out um they're very very friendly and they will help you out you won't get lost with um shipito it's quite simple to use and um i'm really really happy that i've used them and I, you guys will continue to hear me talking about ship it too in my upcoming videos because that's what i use for my international orders like it doesn't make sense to pay so much to ship something to south africa when you could order from three five places put everything into one bag and pay even less than if you ordered from one place like i ordered from skims Ugh, it's just that it's under it's it's packed today i ordered from skims again guys i saved so much because i didn't use skims shipping to south africa i use shipito if you guys want that review let me know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching episode one of the bra series done and dust so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye I got the grace. Yeah. Life and every other things are falling to place.